Hi everyone. Today we will see another one role play card related to the vaccination. So the scenario is presenting at general practitioner clinic. Let me um, read the question. So first one, um, I will read it from the uh, candidate, I mean the patient side. So you are a 40 year old man or woman and work as an international business manager. Your company is sending you to Cambodia and Vietnam next month for four weeks. Your doctor has suggested you speak to a nurse in the clinic regarding advice on recommended vaccinations prior to traveling overseas. So I am uh, Mr. Uh, Thomas and I am going to Cambodia and Vietnam next month. It's for one month um, trip and it's for business purpose and I have to stay there for like long time. Um, so um, it is mandatory that I have to um, get some vaccination before I mean prior traveling. So I went to see my GP and GP advised me to go to the nurse to get the advice for recommended vaccination program. But to be frank, I am afraid of injections and maximum I will try to refuse this vaccination. So let me see my part. Explain when asked that you vaccinated yourself against flu this year and were vaccinated for tetanus and hepatitis A, B as a child approximately 30 years ago. And ask the nurse why you need to get vaccinated again, stressing that you have been managing well without these medications all these years and that you will be staying at a 5-star resort. So the risk of infection is minimal. Resist the idea of getting injections because you feel they are painful and uncomfortable. Reluctantly agree to get the vaccination today. So this is from the patient side. And this is our role we will see from the nurse side. You are speaking to a 40 year old man or woman who has come to the clinic for routine checkup. He or she is traveling overseas next month with the work and the general practitioner has asked you to advise him or her on recommended travel immunizations prior to international travel. So I hope it's clear. The scenario is clear that it is a general practitioner clinic. So let us start the role play. The first one, the first task is find out about his or vaccinate his or her vaccination history regarding tetanus hepatitis a and influenza or flu and the duration of the travel okay so this is a clinic and you don't know the person so the self-introduction and getting introduction from the patient is mandatory so we will start like this good morning uh, then the patient will greet greet in back uh, I am Rashmi Rajan, one of the registered nurses working in this general practitioner clinic. How may I address you and how can I help you today? Then Mr. Thomas will explain that he is um, going for a trip and he wants to ask something regarding vaccination, something, something like that. Okay, from the nurse side. Uh, well, Mr. Thomas, I am glad that you are going to travel abroad country and um, I am um, you know, I am glad to explain you regarding the vaccination um, information. So before proceeding further, may I ask you some questions regarding your vaccination history? Then he will tell, of course. Then my next question is, um, well, Mr. Thomas, uh, could you please explain me whether you have received uh, any vaccination before like tetanus, hepatitis A and or influenza in your life? any time um, and if you mind if you don't mind uh, could you please tell me the duration of your travel how long you will stay in that place then he will explain regarding the vaccination history 30 years before I have received my vaccinations during infancy time and the duration is approximately one month like that and then I can tell that I, I can tell the it's like in um, answer um, well uh, Mr. Thomas thank you for your information and uh, um, as per your information i could understand that you are traveling to Cambodia and vietnam isn't it and um, i'm so sorry to inform you that these countries are at high risk uh, um, countries and if you travel there it is mandatory to get some vaccinations especially this typhoid uh, hepatitis a and tetanus this is from who so without uh, receiving this type of vaccination um, i'm sorry that maybe they will um, they will be, there will be problem for your travel uh, then he will tell that um, no sister just i don't want to get the vaccination because um, i will stay in the hotel and nothing will be there i will not go outside so i will manage um, myself like that he will uh, try to convince the staff nurse 
then i can tell like that uh, mr thomas i can truly understand your concern even if you are staying in if you will stay in the hotel there are um, many way to get this disease condition say i can tell you that hepatitis a because this is a disease con infectious condition you will get through the food and maybe so you could not um, uh, reassure or you could not um, um, tell that the food which will be um, supplied in the hotel which will be hygienic much hygienic sometime you will go outside for the trip and maybe you will have a uh, food outside uh, something can happen and for the tetanus i can tell you that maybe you will uh, stay some place where the even in the mud the tetanus the tetany the infectious agent which, which is present in all over the mud and sometimes can happen and regarding the influenza this is droplet so um, i can uh, assure you that um, if you receive all this vaccination there will not be no chance to get this because influenza you can see whenever you will go for shopping or outing or for office work or something you will expose with the external air and this is this is the droplet which will present anywhere in the air so there is a high risk to get all of these um, infections from the country where you are going to uh, travel so i'm strongly recommend you to take all the recommended um, uh, vaccines within this time so i hope you can understand are you following mr thomas then he will tell that um, mm, okay sister but uh, still i'm uh, feeling uh, something regarding vaccination really i'm feeling that it's painful and um, there will be some side effects so that's my great concern um, so we can tell that um mr john i uh, sorry mr thomas i can truly understand what what is bothering you so i can reassure that it is um, nothing to be get worried this is a simple vaccinations and you can receive it uh, with uh, before at least uh, two weeks uh, prior and um, here this is nothing like uh, three injection there are something like a, um, something like a combination so this hepatitis a you can take it like separate and there will be some booster doses and um, uh, and this typhoid uh, typhoid also you can um, uh, take it like a, i mean it's like a combined vaccination for hepatitis a and typhoid now you can receive these two and booster dose can be after six months even after you are um, traveling when you will come back you can receive the uh, booster dose and regarding the influenza uh, it is like um, individual dose and you have to receive now and every year uh, you can take a like a booster doses and uh, regarding the um, procedure it is a simple procedure and i hope there will not be much pain and even the side effects there are very mild side effects like um, pain in the injection site and mild fever and um, we will feel somewhat um, tired only for it's like a temporary it will not um, uh, it will not be a last long more even more than one day so within one day it can be uh, curable and um, with the over the counter medication is easily manageable and no need to worry so we are here to help you if you have any problem after vaccination as early as possible you can come here and we are ready to help you so is it okay for you then he will um, somewhat okay and he will tell that okay sister because it's mandatory and you are telling that nothing will happen so um, i'm agreed for that so something he will tell then we can tell uh, mr thomas i am so glad to hear that you agreed for the vaccination so let me check the appointment for your vaccination and let me inform you so do you have any other concern then he will tell no sister i don't have any other concern please uh, let me know the date of vaccination then i will come then uh, she will tell uh, of course mr thomas um, so please give me your uh, contact number so after once after the confirmation of your appointment uh, let me inform you so have a, a nice day so with this one we can wind up the oral play so i hope everybody got the points thank you